What's going on people? Glendon Cameron and today was a really interesting day. Really, really interesting. I was at the gym and whew, it was rough. It was a rough day. At the end of my workout, I was talking to a guy I've known for at this particular gym for about two years. And we were talking about life starting over in retirement. And he said, another 10 years, he's just going to die because he doesn't ever see retiring, right? And I was like, okay, I don't see it as that dire. And I was just really listening to his perspective on retiring. Now, I made a decision about, hmm, what, maybe 10 years ago that I was never, ever going to retire. And I'm going to get into that in just a minute. One of the reasons that I'm never ever gonna retire is I'm looking at the possibilities of the new economy. Right now, we have the ability to create revenue streams that are independent of our time and effort. And that's what I mean about never retiring. And this is something that happened when I got out of the storage auction business. Uh, there was a period of a year that was really rocky. My partner had died. I didn't really do anything. In terms of running my business, I didn't really, I did really nothing. It was a struggle to put these videos up, and my income grew. And I really said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is interesting." So, I have a unique set of skill sets that are perpetual. I can do what I'm doing right now when I'm 90. When I'm 100, I can still do it. That's that crazy guy who's been on YouTube for 60 some years. Good Lord, when is he ever gonna die? You know that guy. And it's very, very exciting. And what, what the thing is, is you can create stuff, money, businesses that create income when you're over here, when over you're, you're doing that. And that's what I'm really working on. And I haven't figured out the fine nuts and bolts of it all, but in another 10 years, I think I'll have it down pat. And once again, this is not an overnight process. I'm not looking to do this yesterday or tomorrow. This is a long-term plan. So when people talk about retirement and they get very anxious and very tight and very scared it's because they've bought into this narrative that there's only one way to retire because i look at people and i'm just sitting there like you know you need a million dollars and you can pull off four percent and that will protect you and i was like what if you create a company now say you are um say you're 50 right and you create a company. And when I say a company, I am not talking about an internet giant. I am not talking about uh, this huge thing. I'm talking about a company that serves a group of people and it pays you a very handsome sum per year for your efforts. Doesn't take a lot out of you. You manage it. You can kind of walk away from it and go to Europe if you want to. And when you come back, you still have that asset producing cash. And I'll sit back and I look and you know, I hear this whole this retirement talk because on Bloomberg, there is a story of this woman who's 67, who's living in the basement, but her father, who's like 80 something, is traveling the world because he got a pension and all these other things from his retirement package back in the day when retirement meant something. And I was just looking at the angst and it's like, there was story after story after story of these people who did the right thing. And their only crime was living long and being healthy. And I thought about that and I was like, maybe we should change the conversation on retirement from work, work, work real hard, accumulate, 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 then <sighs> kill over after you killed yourself doing all of that. Maybe, just maybe, you can create using technology sources of income that you manage for the rest of your life because this is something else i live in a pretty good neighborhood in terms of i run across a lot of very active retired people 
uh, they're, they're always doing something. They're always taking trips. They're doing crosswords. They have iPads. They're very, very active. I get up every day because I got to do something type people versus I'm retired and I'm twiddling my, you know, they're, they're very, very engaging. And I talk to these people and I get a lot of information when I meet them around and I realize something. All of these people have something to do. All of them, they don't, they're, they're independent of having to be somewhere all the time. There's one guy, and I thought he was odd. Uh, he's the guy that got married again, had young kids, and he comes around with his daughter off, and then he is retired from his first job, and he has another job d dealing with wine or something else at one of the local shops, and he is extremely interesting to talk to. And I'm just like, he doesn't, I don't know if he has to do it, because I don't get the sense that he has to do it. I get the sense that he does it because he would go crazy just being at home. And I'm really looking at that. So if you're like stressed out about retirement, I want you to think about something. You know, going back to my early example, you know, you're 50 or something, right? You start a company now, say it takes 10 years to get off the road to really roll it. Okay, and you're 60. Say that company is still kicking you off money. And I don't really know how this works in terms of social security. I don't know if you're going to get your social security. That's stuff I haven't researched yet because that is like, I don't even think about it. This is so freaking far away. I don't even think about it. If it have, if it's still around. So you're 60 and you got this company and it's throwing you off a living wage. Let's talk about a living wage. If you manage your money right and you're doing the, the proper things, you don't have to make six figures. That that's the whole thing. You don't have to make six figures. You can do very well between seventy and ninety thousand. You can do very very well. Even with the tax rate, yeah, you can still do well. So this business is giving you that kind of income, or even less. Say the business gives you sixty, but see the thing is, because it's a business, because there's some stuff that's going on, you can amp it up, you can amp it down. So that's how I look at my situation because I had to start over. Went through this cataclysmic event of my life and everything just went sideways. It was horrible. It was terrible. Um, just just a mess. And then things got better. And one day I sat down and I thought, what do you hear about retirement? This isn't exactly my bag because this is another thing that I noticed when I worked in the hospital. People that had something to do stayed mentally engaged. I've seen people, you know, I grew up in a neighborhood where it was just so often that a husband would die, then a year later, the wife would follow him. I mean, it was routine. It was just like, they were like, oh, I have no reason to be here, so I'm out. I mean, seriously, I saw that all the time, and it's just like, without her husband, uh, without his wife, the kids are grown, they're gone, and they really don't have a reason to live. They're just like, hey, I don't want to be here anymore without my best friend. So they go follow him. And you really think about that. And I'm just like, it's about engagement. So I want you to really think about, will you ever retire? Not that you will never retire, but will you ever retire? Because this is a big, big thing. And this is part of, you know, how to make a living without a job is thinking differently. Because as technology goes forward, we're going to have more ways to make income independently of being there than ever before. There's stuff out there that I know in the future that I will make money from that hasn't been invented because I'm looking at it like that. I'm not looking at it like, oh, this is the only way that I can make money is to do this this way. And if I don't do this this way, then it's no good and I'm fucked. That's how many people look at this thing. I want you to really think about it. Start thinking about how you can retire on your own terms because I look at the stuff and it's like you get all this money you, you got your house paid for but your health shot you can't really enjoy your quality of life what good is that you know I, I see a lot of that a lot of that but what if you just engage because like I said you know this is a totally different game. Uh, when I talk to people my whole thing is about freedom I do the things I do for freedom, freedom of time, freedom of choice. So 
essentially for five years, I've been kind of retired if you look at it from that perspective because I had freedom of time, freedom of choice. I can rearrange my schedule around. Sometimes it's challenging because, you know, I'll say I'll launch a new initiative and then it becomes very, very busy. But when it kind of calms down because I'm learning to manage my expectations and manage my business in different manners because it was about grow, 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 grow. Now it's about groom and grow, groom and grow. I was actually telling someone in my coaching class today that I'm purposely keeping things small so I can make them better because it's easier to keep track of just a smaller group of people than a massive group of people. And also, to be straight up, if I fuck up, if I fuck up, it's on a small scale versus this massive scale. And that's one of the lessons I learned about right? really, really pushing for certain things. So understand, Ask you, you can ask yourself, you can stop like freaking out. Like, you know, if I get 60, 70 and if I can't retire, I'm not, I'm not saying I want you to be working flipping burgers because that's another thing that happened. Also on Bloomberg, because the associated stories are talking about, there was a guy who was making per week what he used to make per hour. Because, you know, he went through a series of, he had a good job, then he, he quit that, then he started a business, and he didn't save any money for his retirement. Like, none. So, well, no, he had like 90000 which isn't a lot when you're 60 and expected to live another 30 to 40 years. It's not enough because you can only pull off maybe 4000 a year. So start thinking about that. Start thinking about, because, you know, I look at a lot of the NFL owners. These guys own businesses. They still own them. They still, you know, own the NFL team is own the business. And these things still make money. And you got to think, what can you build? What can you contribute to the world that will make you money for a long, long time? And this is one of the reasons that I tell people in my groups you know, if you like looking at this long term, then the upside is incredible. But if you're looking at, I started this on Tuesday and it's Friday and I expect it to be payday, you're going to be perpetually frustrated. You're going to be very, very unhappy. You're going to be extremely unhappy because you're looking for that instant gratification that is not in your business just yet. Because I've been doing Internet marketing being a, 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 I, I really consider myself a media, a content media distributor. That's what I do. You know, I create content and I distribute it. I've been at this four years going on five. July 17th, 2014 will be five years. I am just really starting to get this stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's taking time and I'm putting in reps and I'm there. So I look at it from a long you know a long timeline you know got to a certain point that supports me and now it's about making it better and better and better and better and then phew, that's what I'm looking to do because what I see in the future just me is so bright and it's just awesomeness if you're looking at it from the right perspective if you're looking at you got to get money like now. It could be pretty dark and gloomy. If you're looking at, huh, I'll give you an example of a simple business. And one of my friends is doing it. It's cookies. Cookies are great. And whenever people eat them, they're like, I love these cookies. The cookies are great. They melt in your mouth. And you're just like, Arr. Now, if she looks at this long term, I'll give you the math. She's got this cookie company. Cookie company makes, say, a thousand bucks off 300 customers a month. Okay, so that's a thousand bucks. If every year they can double that number, just every year, double that number. So year one is 300, year two is 600, year three is 900. Do that for 10 years. You have this incredible business and you can really do that locally or, you know, use some internet leverage, sell some stuff to your friends in other cities. But you can make that business work very well in 10 years. And the thing is, with a renewable product like a cookie, you have return customers. So that number, that, that, that 300 customers is more than just 300 customers per month. 
it could be 300 customers, you know, those 300 customers plus per months or years or decades. And that's why I want to do these videos to kind of get people to think about this stuff differently because one of the biggest things is like those J.G. Wentworth commercials. It's my buddy that wants it now. It's killing people. You know, some things take some time. Things take a different scenic route. So will you ever retire? If you like me, the answer would be no. That's pretty much the deal because I want to be engaged. If you can get to where you're managing your time, you have achieved half of retirement. If you can manage your time on your terms, you have achieved half of retirement. And there are people who are 20 years old, there are people who are 30 years old, there are people who are 40 years old who have done that. And the other thing is like if one of my businesses like did really well and I got like, bam, 10 million. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I enjoy this. This is fun. I'm not going to go, got my 10 million. I'm about to go to Florida and I'm going, to, I'm taking my 10 million to South. But no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to still be doing this. You'll, you'll still be getting videos. You'll still have, I'll still have my groups because this stuff is fun. And that's another part about, will you ever retire? Can you create a business, a lifestyle that's fun? Because if you do that, then it's like every day, it's like I'm going to work. No, I'm not going to work. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to mess with people on the interwebs. I'm going to talk a little smack in the comments. I'm going to be in the Facebook group like, yeah, that's some good shit. That's fun. It's fun. So will you ever retire? Can you create something that's fun? And another thing that I'm really, really happy about is I am no longer that odd quackity quack duck. There are more and more people like me because when you do this kind of work, people are like, you really have a job? Do you really, do you really work? Really? So let me get this straight. So you get up and you go to a table and you turn on your computer and you're at work? Like uh, you have no office? Uh, you have no, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really? Motherfucker lying to me. You ain't got no job, Tommy. Martin reference, but uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously, just some food for you to chew on. All right. Once again, this is Glendon Cameron, and I'll see you on the good side.